welcome back to the Good Green Home Show with Rich and Shauna. And you know what? We're going to talk about which annuals are the toughest and, you know, to help you plan your garden bed. You got, it's about that time of year where it's maybe a little early to plant some plants, mm-hmm. but it's safe to plant others. And we'll talk about those. But you also need to be planning things out, making maybe that scouting trip to the garden center, maybe in the time where it's not quite as busy, so you're not fighting the crowds and the long lines. And also, you may be able to get more attention from the garden center attendant or customer service representative and, you know, first pick sometimes. Sometimes, you know, when the spring just busts open, garden centers tend to get picked over and we try our hardest to keep reloading the, you know, the stock and the inventory of good, fresh plants. But sometimes, you know, some of those hot plants, they're just gone. So take a scouting trip, and we're going to talk about some of the plants you should be looking for. We are, and specifically about garden design. Because a lot of what I've done in the past years will wait till the very last minute, and then I go to find my plants, you know, and late May, they're not available. And I so hate that's, that. I hate that when that and happens. And you read the garden magazine sometimes, and they're promoting a plant. And I know specifically this past season, there was a plant that was being heavily promoted in the magazine. And even the growers couldn't even get it because by the time that the ad was coming out, the plant was sold out. Exactly. And it's like, what is this? You know? Do that your makes me angry. People? <laughs> I get angry. Yeah. Uh, you don't want angry. You want happy. So plan your garden in advance. What I do is pin to paper. I blank sheet of paper. I make a very sloppy garden plan. I just draw out a little picture. What plants am I going to plant? I make sure in advance that I know the height and the width and the conditions that those plants need to grow in. And here's the thing. I'm a lazy gardener. I don't like to water too often. I don't like to have to do extra work. And by finding tough little plants that last in all conditions, it's really a smart move for your garden. Well, we've got a couple of plants we're going to talk about. And I know that you are a huge fan of a plant called lantana. Love lantana. There's Tell a- us about it and why you love lantana. Okay, lantana and many other annuals can also be pollinator plants. They I knew lo- you were going to go there with the I lantana. love the pollinator plants. It's Multifaceted. Good, exactly. Good for the environment. Pollinators are bees, butterflies, but also hummingbirds. Mm-hmm. And I've had hummingbirds come to my lantana before. Yeah, so, I've you know, it's it a well. good, but really the butterflies are the thing. The other, another one is alyssum. And alyssum, it co- now comes in yellow as well as white, pink, and purple. And alyssum is, uh, now listen, you need to water an alyssum a little bit more, uh, but the pollinator benefits are huge. Alyssum's a great plant. You know, they've come out with some vegetative types of alyssum now too. And typically in the garden center, those are actually going to be labeled as a, as a different name. They're calling it lobularia, L-O-B-U-L-A-R-I-A. That is alyssum. It is the, typically it's the vegetative type. Mm-hmm. Vegetative, Shauna, do you know what the difference between seed and vegetative? Well, vegetative is a plant. A plant, yes. It's but a cute little plant. Vegetative is a way to describe the way a plant was grown or propagated or bred. Look at you, Smarty so, Pants. I'm Smarty Pants McGee. <laughs> coming to you live on the WJOB AM 1230. Now, so here, here's the thing. Vegetative plants are typically grown from hybridized cuttings. Mm, understood. Okay. Seed is just like it sounds. They're grown from seed. Now, vegetative plants are typically, you know, you get to the garden center and you see a plant that's $5 for one plant and it's like a petunia. Holy and you're but going, jeebus. But right yeah. over here, Woo. there's a eight pack of petunias that look pretty much the same for like $6. So... I can get eight of them for six dollars, and only in right here I get one of them for five dollars, you know. And now our consumer mindset is starting to think, you know, hey, that's a ripoff. But the savvy consumers Mm -hmm. and the savvy gardeners know. And if you're not one of those, we're going to teach you right now that the five dollar plant is a vegetative petunia. It's grown from hybridized cuttings. This is not your grandmother's petunia. Right, right. It's a special petunia. It's a special petunia. Uh, there's different brands out there. Mm-hmm. There's there are uh, proven winners. There's Hort Couture. Wave. There's, Wave is actually a seed. Oh, oh. Wave is from seed, but it <laughs> does perform me. similar to a vegetative. You know, I have a secret plant. 
No one understands how powerful a Dusty Miller is. I love Dusty Miller. Dusty Miller is, okay, everyone's like, that's an old-fashioned plant, lady. It's a great accent it's, plant. It's in a great, it's white. The, and if you pull off a leaf, the white, it looks like a tiny little fuzz on it that you can mm. barely, it's almost a powdery thing. It's white because it reflects the light and holds up better to t hot temperatures. But here's the secret about it. At the end of the season, if you cut it off just at the base... The next year, it'll come back. It is not considered a perennial for our area, and yet it does remarkably well in Zone 5 and 5B. You know, my favorite Dusty Miller is, I believe, the old-fashioned one because it's the only one I've actually ever grown and had in our garden mm -hmm. center and going you know, a couple decades now of my experience is Silver Dust. Oh, beautiful. And it's a super reliable... Uh, mm -hmm. And it's great, you know, in another show when we talk about container gardening, we mm -hmm. talk about thrillers, fillers, and spillers. Thriller yes. being the tall center plant, filler being that next layer around for the texture and a little bit of height and symmetry, and then spiller being the plant that spills over the side. To me, Dusty Miller is a great filler plant. It adds texture, it adds a color contrast, and not every plant mm -hmm. has to have a flower to be beautiful. No, it's and beautiful it is foliage. And it's beautiful. Remember, our grandmothers had this marigold that was smelly. Mm -hmm. It's really an heirloom type of marigold. And no one wanted it. So back in the 70s, they hybridized the smell out of it. But guess what happens? When you use the smelly marigold, you get no rabbits. People mm. try to plant marigolds around their garden to prevent rabbit invasion. And they're not does, using the right one. They're not using the high. The hybridized ones are the wrong ones to use. You want to use the old fashioned, the smellier cream? ones. Um, you know, I don't know the specific variety. Although they've come out with a new flower that has a huge head to it, and it's the Thai Taishan. Taishans, and yeah. we grow those at Alsip Nursery. We that have works. those available for oh. a list of more annuals and to help plan your garden. Mm -hmm. Go to AlsipNursery.com. We're going to be right back after a message from our sponsors. Do you want to stop garden insects before they become a problem? Bonite All Seasons Horticultural Spray is your answer and will stop your garden insects before they hatch. Early spring smothers most insect eggs left behind by last year's plant-destroying insects. Bonite's All Season Horticultural Spray Oil will destroy insect eggs in early spring and if used throughout the season, will control all stages of insects. Bonite All Season Spray Oil is recommended for use on shade trees, fruit trees, shrubs, roses, and ornamental plants. Bonite All Seasons Horticultural Spray Oil is easy to use and an all-natural product that can be used all season long. Bonite products are family made in America. All Seasons Horticultural Spray Oil is available at your local hardware store, garden center, or farm feed store, or go to bonite.com for a retailer near you.